those people are in me now? Du, 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 du. Is it alright now? Do people hear me because it's a crown champion? Do, 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 do. So, so it's all fine now. Good. Whatever. Yeah, let's back on this. So I'm sorry, guys. I think it was on my side, but here we go. So, um. Let's enter the contest <laughs> because we all want to get back to life. Like I've said, but you've not heard me, we have a big cast of characters. But we will focus mainly on the almighty Atlantean as Trident uh, because he is not the quickest, but one of the most quick, and he has a powerful attacks. So the time starts when I gain control of the character, and I will do a big countdown for you because I'm I'm that generous <laughs> so six five four three two one go so w here I just have to stun slash the prehistoric guy and try to just throw him infinitely so it's it's quite simple on paper but in reality it's not because my time window to just throw someone is very very short like you've seen I I've been able to throw him three times and I fell three times as well and between fights it's not RNG based but almost it depends on your finish stance so after that it's just setups to create a throwing pattern so right now I'm throwing him and I fell my throw, but th that's how it happens. You, you have just specific times to throw him, else he will fight back, block or whatever else. So that is the tricky part. You can just throw him infinitely if you're good enough, but if you fail once, you, s you lose uh, 3 to 5 to or more seconds. Like here, he has not behaved well, so I have to, to back up something. And Blade is a, a future cop, so let, let's be kind with him just by beating him. And, and see, I've just been few milliseconds off, and he has thrown me back. But now I've been I've been able to deal with him. Yep, yep. Like I, e signal I've said, Slash is the most annoying one to throw because it's the slowest. So uh, to get back up, usually you have. Pretty, a uh, pretty uh, solid timing, but not always. And you can maybe see on the top left uh, my uh, yin yang symbol goes up or down. It's because I use a three button controller of Genesis, and I have to switch back from A B C to X Y Z. So th that is another another annoying part of poor people not having good controllers. <laughs> Sir, here about midnight, the uh, scientist that have turned uh, like a vampire. It's not a big secret. You you either have to 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 punch him every time or to him infinitely. So just choose your way to to fight him. <laughs> it's faster to uh, hit him, but it's safer to throw him. Either way works fine. And see, w when I do a jump like that, when the fight is over, I can quick load the next fight. If you, you press a certain combination of uh, inputs at the right time, else it will do a slow loading and you will lose like 3 to 5 seconds. So that's another annoying part on this game. <laughs> but the rest is simple. You see, my, my time frame of throwing is quite great with this against this character. But it, it's all the same with each character, you just have to be good. <laughs> and see another slow slow loading. That's uh, Xavier, the Warlock, is quite tricky because he blocks a lot. And now he was supposed to uh, jump over me, but he has not. Let's just throw him infinitely and it will be fine. If I don't mess up, obviously. <laughs> So it's you when you throw it's usually the third uh, stance when he gets up. 
it's just as soon as the third sprite has got up that you can throw. But if you throw at the second, it will block. At the fourth, it, it, it will block as well. So, and see, I've tried to, to throw him, but he was faster than me. Because blocking and and doing another attack is faster than uh, than just uh, landing and throwing. So here we go. I think I will be fine. Nope. Spoke too soon. And he has, uh, he has blocked my special attack, but it's fine. Oh, a special death. Let's go. Losing time. We all like that. <laughs> but a special death. Burn in hell, burn in hell, Xavier. Here we go. <laughs> Rose dead. Fatality. So next, it's Shadow the Ninja. So it's another tricky uh, enemy. But let's just punch her until she dies. Because why not? We can tank everything that she did deal with against us. So let's keep going. And I think it's done there. Yep. So sums are pretty simple because they don't block a lot. But uh, like Shadow Shadow tries to attack more than blocking. So we can just do everything. Oh man, come on. Jump. That's fine. Exactly like that. Good girl. See, she doesn't block much. Come on, Ch Shadow, behave well. Thank you. Easy like that. <laughs> so, yes, if you don't uh, infinitely throw people, they will just do whatever they want. So, you can, like I've said, you can lose few seconds or uh, several ones. Here it's quite simple. We, we just throw her because she's slow. But if she does her special, that it will happen in the second round, uh, she will beat the fastest of all the characters. But as soon as you hit her or throw her, she will just uh, lose her speed and it will be all fine. So now she will power up. Nope. Okay, she has jumped, so it's better. So I can just infinitely throw her. Nope. Please behave, uh, Jetta. Thank you. So it's again only throwing on specific frames, exactly like that. So it was pretty simple here, because like I've said, uh, uh, Trident is the more vers versatile uh, character. He has a stun attack. He he has a good range. Uh, he's powerful enough. And now Rax the Cyber Factor from the future. Let's just deal with him. He, he wants to fight, so... Le no! Don't do that. Thank you. So, we he just always rush at us, so we just attack, 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 and at one point, he, he will die. We are like a wall. He, he punched us, so he will get hurt, obviously. <laughs> so, here we go again. Come on, Rax. Come to your death. And after some blows, they, they just get stunned. Like uh, any, any real uh, combat. If you get to punch too much in the face, you, you, you sit down and try to breathe more. <laughs> so now another slow, slow loading. Uh, we are back to Larson. Larson is a burglar. And he tries to block a lot, so... But the timing to hit him is not so bad, but it's not uh, easy to, to find. Because he's slower than other characters. You have to bait him to, to attack. Yeah, yeah like, like that, I've just posed to, to be able to, to land a, a hit to him. And that's why you've seen a 46 on top, because... Uh, he has blocked a lot compared to uh, Rax or Shadow. T the more hard part, the hardest part of the speed run is to figure out what to do to do an infinite uh, infinite uh, loop of throwings. 
and succeed succeeding it so you you have to, to succeed to to throw them infinitely else you will lose precious seconds and the final boss the final boss you can infinitely throw him but i hope yet yeah, that you won't fail because there's almost no coming back and as i speak about that there's the final boss <laughs> and my pace is quite good it's not well recorded but it's good and now randomly he has chosen to to be invincible for for a moment and he has and he has done that so another losing time thank you too generous with me uh, final boss and we are lucky there's five phases on the final boss and I've I have failed my oh, come on I failed my infinitely throw so that's another bad part for the rest so phase one is done Yep, Eternal Champion is the main run killer because fail once against the two patterns on the left and you can just lose 2-3 minutes but the two patterns on the right are pretty easy, they are slower so you just infinitely throw no big deal if you don't fail obviously oh, I mean let's go do that fucking bullshit attack. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Okay, now he has land. We can throw. Again. And the last time. Let's go. And we will try to keep going with that. Um, the, I hope it will be a pattern on the left. Because I don't want to deal with both of them. at Not at the same time, but in a row. So now it's the tiger. The tiger is really fast if he activates his, spe his special move. We will try to prevent him to do so, else he can just beat us. And even if we don't, we block everything. Like that. Okay, good. I've been able to throw. And again, good. So now my HP won't be filled all the way up. So I, I hope it will beat the shark that we see right now Because it's very difficult Because the dragon, no not the dragon So I can lose a life here I have two lives So Or two chances to, to beat the boss I must not miss it my, Miss my first chance Else it's like 3 minutes uh, slower Let's go Two more Two more two two more one let's go so the last last phase yeah dragon and tiger are very annoying like like now I've done it 95% uh, perfectly I've been it once but I've been able to hit him and keep kept it into my infinite throw so it was not a big time loss so four more throws Three more throws. Two more throws. And it will be time very soon. Time. So, that is Eternal Champion on Genesis. Because uh, there is a Sega CD version with more characters and more uh, moves. And different moves as, as well. Um, the world record is 1055 done by me, but it's very well optimized. It can be beaten, but it, it's hard because you have to do every, to throw them all the time perfectly, like over 100 times. And you have seen me failing so much time. <laughs> so I don't necessarily recommend this game for speed running, but to play it casually, it's fun and it's challenging because uh, it, it's. They don't allow you to to fail much time. It's challenging. So I want to do a shout out to uh, the organizers. The, uh, so Sp Speedy Fest, thank you so much to allow me to display that fantastic game. And thanks everyone that have watched this run. And I hope that you will enjoy what's coming. And have a good rest of your day.